Whoa, kidnapped by a gambling man, rambling man. I don't freaking know what to call him, but anyway, an hey. Air pirate, that's what he is. An air pilot. Anyway, hey everyone, Volge Cheer. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy VI in the last episode. Uh, we got kidnapped by Setzer, and I forgot his voice because this is a new session. Phew, the Empire has made me a rich man. I'm going to do Caesar Zeppeli again, but a real Caesar Zeppeli this time. Mm. <laughs> Stop thinking of yourself. Many towns and villages have been smashed by the Empire. Oh, God. Uh, the Empire is also totally rotten. It's using magic to enslave the world. The world, though. The Empire and my realm were allies until recently. The Empire will end up owning you. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is to be owned? <laughs> He's the, like a communist. The Empire. Evil? <laughs> oh. We hate the Empire for the same reasons. That's why... You know, you're even more stunning than Maria. Question mark, question mark, question mark! <laughs> <laughs> Nani! What? <laughs> Enough! If you, if Celeste becomes my wife, I'll help. Otherwise... <laughs> uh, what? Are you stupid? <laughs> what? Oh, he's a smart man. We haven't any choice. Wow! <laughs> yes, it's settled. But, I have conditions. Poor Locke, he's getting cooked. Oh, poor guy. Do, 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 do. We'll decide with the coin toss. If it's heads, uh, you'll help us. If it's tails, we'll go with you. Well, Mr. Gambler? Oh, -ho, fine. I accept. Listen to yourself, Celeste. Celeste. You <laughs> Celeste. You can't become his wife. You just can't. Locke, it's okay. I have a freaking plan. Ready? Action! Heads up when tells you lose. Ha 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 I win! Now honor your part of the bargain! Let me look at this coin. <laughs> oh, it is uh, double-sided. A coin with identical sides. <laughs> that coin! Big brother! Big brother! <laughs> Don't tell me! I think you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler. Uh, it's not a hustle if he literally knows that you cheated. Ha! How low can you get? I love it. All right. Shit, dude. All right. I'll help you. Nothing to lose but my life. He just flips the coin back. My life is a cheap in your pile. Empty up. Ha uh ha! -huh, heads again. <laughs> ha! I landed on its side. <laughs> Freaking end of no game, no life. Ah, fuck yeah. Blackjack! Um, this, this unwieldy looking ship really moves. Could it crash? <laughs> when, when things fall, they fall. It's all a matter of fate. <laughs> this ship's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Better land some distance away. <laughs> right. I'll wait on board in case of an emergency. Oh, you can't play as him yet? Aww. Damn it. Setzer is a cool dude. Alright. So. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going Mode to Vector. Mode 7. Mode 7. Oh, look at those searchlights in the back. Oh, dude. Beautiful. It's like we're going to Hollywood. Oh, man, I love Hollywood. No, no, we're going to New York. It's King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually... The Gestalian Empire is actually New York City. I mean, pretty much. It's like, uh, just like New New Pork City, right? Yeah, really. Dude, that looks like the Black Omen from Chrono Trigger. Like, when it was on the horizon. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's crazy. Are, we, are we going straight to Vector? I don't, uh... I think we are. Well, it does have position, but it doesn't really have direction. Unless that direction is evil, so, I mean, it's hard to really know. Oh. Uh, we landed right there. Hello, town. Albrook. Albrook. <laughs> oh, hey, you can't be here. Three cheers for the Empire. Okay. <laughs> this is Albrook, the occupied city. Okay. Oh, yeah. Item shop. The... What you got, pals? Oh, up. We get a Revivify. That sounds like... Uh, I commented on it last time. It sounds like something stupid that you see in, like, a kid's shop. I'm going to get a few Phoenix Downs. They're only 500? Dude, I'm going to get, wow. like... Let me get like it's a uh, revivify is like Spotify, but it wakes you up. Right, exactly, and it's <laughs> on demand. Re music radio. 
Alright, nothing, nothing. Oh, I'm walking oh, checking dude, the Dude, you gotta get that chest back there. Dude, I can't get it. I want it. Uh, you're right, you can't. <laughs> I want it. How do I get to it? Why can't I just climb over the counter? Uh, there's nothing in these trees? Okay, cool. Let's check out the weapon shop. Ooh, I think there's some good stuff here. Ooh, there's a forged cyan would like that, but I own one, so whatever. Poison claw, that doesn't matter. An epe. Ooh. Epe. Epe, that could be helpful. A blossom, that'd be good for Mr. Steel or hey, stuff. Epe. And uh, the fire skein, bolt edge, and water edge. I'm gonna buy an epe, I think. For, uh. I get it for, uh. I would probably get it for, uh, Edgar. Uh, well, you want to get Edgar, like, pikes. Oh, true. Spears. That's what his forte really is. Alright, well, I bought one anyway, and then I can talk to... Give it Mr. to, like, I'm a scholar of weapons. 1,000 years ago, during the War of the Magi, two so-called Atma weapons existed. One changed a person's power into a sword, the other was a monster bred for mass destruction. Atma, or Ultima weapon. Oh. Otherwise. I get it. I want that so, treasure chest. Can I hop over the counter here? Hello? No. <laughs> no counter hopping for you. Damn it. Alright, well let's... Let me just see. I don't... Oh. Did you de-equip everybody? No. Um... Oh, right, because she was at... She was in the... Play. The play, yeah. Yeah, but sh she wants the rune edge, doesn't she? Because she can't do ru Or is it just if you have a sword, you can do runic? Um... Yeah, you need to have a sword to do runic. Okay, so or, the epe is fine on her. You might be able to do it with knives. Let me look it up. Well, I gave Locke the full moon, but the thief knife is better in every way except for, for power, so... Yes. Alright, cool. So we're good on gear for now for weapons and whatnot. And if we go over here to... You'll find some good weapons in Zen and Miranda. Alright, well... And the armor shop has headband. Uh, we go on Gao. Bard's hat. Ooh. This looks good. Uh, mithril vests. Uh, ninja wear. And a white dress. Alright. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a... A ninja gear would be really good for Sabin, so I'm going to get one of those. And then, wow, everyone wants a mithril vest. Okay, okay, so uh, all swords, daggers, spears, katanas, and the magus rod. Nice. A lot runic, but I mean, I think some of those, I don't think she's allowed to equip like spears and katanas without a bard. Right, yeah. Should I get a bard's hat? Uh, for who? For anyone. <laughs> Like, everyone wants one. I guess. I'll get one. Except raises Locke. And, he, Locke raises and Celeste MP. don't want one. Yeah, it raises MP a little. Ooh, and there's actual treasure chest. Empty. Empty. <laughs> hey, <laughs> stop going through my stuff. Hey, man. Uh, I gave Edgar the Bard's hat. And then if I... Savin's got that. If I gave, I gave Savin the ninja gear, uh -huh. does he want that? Yes, uh, Savin wants yeah. the ninja gear. <laughs> so, if you... um. If you go back to the ship, you can change out which party members you have. So oh. if you want to change anybody. Okay. Um, like I, if you want to. I kind of want to get Gao or. I kind of want to uh, raise Cyan and Gao's level a little bit. Not a bad idea. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna go back and get those two and trade them out for. Um, do I really? Ooh. Uh. This guy. The whole customers need any refreshments? Oh, that's a full heal. Yeah, he doesn't. You don't have to pay him. So that's nice. You and just he buy just random stuff yeah, from okay, this dude. Cool. And I assume this is a door. Cool. Oh, they got a blackjack table and everything. Is this like our new hub now, or? Yeah, pretty much. So oh, some yeah. characters should Ooh. be. Well, you, you can go out that way if you go around and see what the little indent is on the other side. Oh, I see yeah. it. Nice. I don't know what that takes you. This oh, is uh, the place where we entered. Where we came in, yeah. Yeah. I okay. don't think anyone usually hangs out in there. Okay. Usually we'll they're start. all in this main room here. Uh, go up, up, go up the, the stairs. stairs. Yeah. All, all that right. leads to the deck. Unequip some party members. Those not in your party. Actually, yeah, you should do that pretty much all the time. Those uh, not in your party. What do you, oh, yeah. So then you have access to the, your full... Gotcha. Your, 
Cool. Yeah, I read that as unequipped party members, and I'm like, all right, take the party members out of your party. Like, unequip oh, no. them from your party. No, it unequips the relics and their equipment. Gotcha. That that might be helpful. Maybe I'll have my sprint shoes back. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> all right, where you know, are... have, like, three pairs now, so there's sets are. Yeah, there's Setzer. Where's Gao and Cyan? Are they maybe still in Narsh? Maybe you haven't been able to bring them on the ship yet. Are they still in Narsh? I guess. Oh, that's not, oh you could fly the Narsh, maybe. I don't know. How would I Here, do that? Try, try the controls. Nope. Oh, damn it. Okay, never mind. I guess you can't fly are, the Narsh yet. We are going to ride things out with the people we have in our party right now. Sorry for misleading you. Yeah, it's okay. I learned about when, uh, things. Yeah, so when you're after this, then all your party members hang out on the ship. Yeah. And you can access everyone there and swap out as you want. They say there's something valuable to the east. The Empire built a base there and no one may enter. Oh, interesting. And uh, there's a cafe here. Mmm, get some coffee? Nuts! Those soldiers are absolutely insane! This cafe is like an Imperial soldier's dormitory! Oh, ooh, it's a burlesque show. Hey, you're not of the Empire! Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> sure, no problem, I'll leave. <laughs> in any case, you're probably broke! Yeah, I don't How rude. <laughs> talking to a king. Ah, welcome! <laughs> oh, she's nice. Ah, whoopee! <laughs> I'm just giving these wonderful voices. This is like some Johnny B. Good shit right here. Johnny B. Good. Yeah, elixir. Ooh, elixir. Nice. That's why you always check the clocks. Every time. Sometimes, for some reason, people like to store valuable items. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where you would store things in a clock, but then again, what do I know? There are relics here. Goggles, peace ring, earrings, sight, niper sight, wall ring, and amulet. Ooh, I think wall ring casts shell. It casts reflect. Oh, reflect. That's good, too. All right. Uh, all right. I don't think I need anything right now. Mm, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm a scholar of magic. Monsters on this continent only have weak magical power. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah, that's uh, that's very handy. Ooh. Is this a secret? No. No. Is there a secret back here? No. Well, there's there's more uh, places to visit. Vector, capital of the empire, is at the center of this continent. Interesting. That's good to know. I guess we're going to Vector, or...? Uh, here, go the other way. Alright, cool. Go up and around. Up and around. Because I think there's another place you can visit. Get out of the way, you dirty building. S NPC s slipper flapper. Get out of the uh, way, old man. Ah! Uh, get out of the way, monk. You, and he walks so he slowly. Like and it's an inn. Oh. Why would I use this inn, though? I really don't know. Well, what if you're trapped here without your spaceship? Yeah, that is true. But I like my spaceship. The, the spade ship. Ha ha ha. Because it's a... It's a jack. No entry into the port. Okay. Oh, it sucks. You're in the way. Get Everything belongs to the Empire. Okay, well, there's nothing to do here. Dirty imperialists. Frickin' imperials. Alright, well, that's all to do here. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Oh, and we're in the desert, and it's fighting a bug. Three uh, bugs. Uh, they look like wasps. Wow. Wait, does, uh... Does Seven have haste casted on him? Uh, I don't think so. Is that like so. His, his relic? Has haste? Uh, I don't know. Yes, yes he does. I love haste. It's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Alright, well, here we go. Auto crossbowing. And magicking, and everything's dead now, and I realize that I should probably be going to Vector instead of, uh, into this desert. Well, Vector is... Oh, to yeah, the east. But there's yeah, a town over that way. I don't know if you can explore very much of the continent. Okay, yeah. well... Well, go, try going north. Yeah, that's... And going to the town at the north end. Yeah. Well, there's Vector right there. Right. So I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go check out things, and I got Ralph and a Joker. Ralph? Is that a uh, reference to something? I really could not tell you. Bulldog named Ralph. I like this party setup, though. It's very, it's very helpful. They've... Yeah, it's a pretty good party. 
Oh, they got bolt. Oh, that was a very powerful attack. Yes. Well, it'll be dead in just a sec. So, life will be good. I can just use cure with Salus or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think is I read somewhere that Zozo is kind of like the first point in the game where things actually get a little hard. Yeah, I would agree with that. That was like the first time I died when I played the game. <laughs> that was good. Uh, I did not. I died further before. All right, well, let's go. I'm not going to check out Vector. I'm going to go north. Oh, yeah, that's right. You died. I died to the uh, tunnel armor. Oh, yeah. All right, well, what's up here? It's a town. And then we were set back it's for like an feeder. hour and a half. <laughs> Look at these weed feeders. Mmm. Oh, uh, wait, I gotta figure out. Weed. I gotta figure out what was that move that did really good. Uh, Phoenix Dance? Yeah, the Phoenix Dance. Uh, it's like left, down, left, down, down, right, right. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Pretty sure. Yeah. Auto crossbow. Well, you already killed him, but yeah, pretty much. Oh, not yet. Oh, this guy's still alive. Or fire dance in this game. Yeah. That's just a lot of savins. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. They're like all dead. Two magic mm -hmm. points. Savin got a level. Damn. Riding this like a. Like it's nothing. All right. Well, let's check out this town here. What are you? You're Zen. All right. It's uh, to Zen actually. Oh, is it? The empire strings up anyone who opposes it. Okay. Well. Let's oh, oh! I think this is where the other. Uh, the other what? Uh, the other person with the who gets the carrier pigeon sent to her. Oh, really? There's the one dude in what Vector? No, uh, Vector. In, what was the other one? The place Locktown. Yeah. Mo most of the town's youth were led off to serve as imperial soldiers. Not that kid, though. Yeah. <laughs> I said it's dangerous outside, you can't go out! Oh my god. Everything belongs to the Empire! Alright, well, you can just, uh, die. Alright, let's check out the weapon shop. We got an Air Lancer, a Full Moon, an Epe, and a Boomerang. Ooh, a Boomerang. I already have the Boomerang, though. No, I don't. Oh, oh, the Full Moon is... It, you throw it like a Boomerang, but it's not a Boomerang. Yeah, well, Locke wants the Thief Knife, though. Right. So well, I'm gonna pass think, on that. Any other characters can have it? I'm uh, not sure. no, no. Only one can have it. Only Locke has well, it. Well, now. But you can get more characters later. Well, I this suppose. This isn't a full party. Look at all those spaces. I suppose you're right. I'll buy a boomerang. <laughs> I don't know why you'd buy a weapon that you can't use now, though. Shut up! I just bought one. Come on, man. You can come back. Well, yeah, but... Ugh. Okay, well... Okay, that's literally everything that... Oh, you should buy another white dress. Should I? For... <laughs> fucking with you. Okay. Because <laughs> you can't use it now. You already have one on Celes. Well, yeah, but maybe... Oh, you just walked right through that kid. Yeah, I did. Kids mean nothing to me. Yeah. Alright, well, relics. Any, any cool relics? Just the usual. Yeah, you can get some cool ones later, probably. Alright, check the pot. I want that treasure chest, but you can't hop over the, the thing. No hopping for you. Yeah. Mess with the Empire and something. Mm. Here, no, 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 uh, don't leave yet. I'm not trying Go. to leave. I'm trying to explore, you feel. Oh. Ooh, hello. Okay. Hello, see what lady. She's doing. Our kid's still not home, even though we said it was dangerous outside. Oh, he's just sliding down the railing Dude, like a little asshole. Get the frick back over. Your mom's looking out. Your mom's looking for you, kiddo. I'm trying Whatever. to get, I'm trying to get. Talk to the old dude. What who's old chilling dude? by oh. the, by the woman. That home. I heard there's a huge gate deep inside a cave to the east. Oh, interesting. A huge gate. For inside you. Caves. For you. All uh, right. Well, that's all to do there. All right. Um. You can go to the one that's way on the east, way on the uh, southwest. Yeah, I could. Should I? Should I do that? I feel like it might not be a bad idea. Oh, I got two Ralphs. Ralph. Ralphie. 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 Carlos. <laughs> God. Have you seen? Have you watched the new Netflix? Uh, the the new version of it or whatever. They've got 
new Magic School Bus on yeah, Netflix? Yeah, they, they revived it, yeah. Oh my god. Is it good? I have no idea. I haven't watched it. I was considering watching like an episode I hope it's just good, but I mean, look at how pretty much all <laughs> reboots have gone other than DuckTales so far. Is, oh, the DuckTales reboot is actually days. good? I haven't yeah, I know, I know. Either. I'm saying other than DuckTales. Yeah. Well, like, DuckTales is cool. But like, don't, don't Powerpuff Girls, about, it's Powerpuff. shit. Don't talk to me about the Powerpuff Girls reboot. <laughs> it's fucking shit. It's god awful. One of the writers inserted himself <laughs> to be Blossom's boyfriend. <laughs> it's my favorite le favorite thing to hate about that show is that like fucking self-insert. That's ask so some, stupid. Ask some fucking decency, dude. Like, my god. Like, I saw an interview of the guy, and he was like, and he was like, the, the person interviewing him was like, do you think B Blossom would actually, like, like, did you have a crush on Blossom as a kid? And he goes, oh, did I, did I have a crush on Blossom as a kid? And it was so, like, it was so... He's a cringe lord? Oh, God, it was awful. Oh, man. It was seriously one of the most embarrassing things you could do as a professional writer, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, that's so, that's so terrible. Yeah. Like, <sighs> all right, some, sometimes people self-insert themselves. Okay, fine. But they don't, like, some people are good about it. Uh, like, uh, well, it's not technically a self-insert, but, uh, Craig McCracken. Yeah, I was about to say Craig Frankie McCracken. Off of, um, his wife. His wife. And Frankie is a good character. Like, people yeah. actually like Frankie as a character. Ooh, I that's, think. Yeah, pretty Frankie, sure. Well, a lot of people thought that Frankie was actually, like, uh, one of, uh, Madame Foster's imaginary friends. Because Madam Foster's design actually looks exactly like Frankie, just younger, or older, excuse me. I have seen various, uh, theories. Theories about that. I always hate those show theories, like, Oh, the Ed, Ed and Eddie is actually purgatory. Uh. Yeah, I mean, those are stupid, but, like, there's, I mean, it's not too much of a stretch at that point to think that Madam Foster is imaginary friend could be Frankie, because Frankie, all Frankie does is help him out, out around the place, and, like, you know, it looks exact, looks a lot like how Madam Foster did when she was younger. I mean, that makes kind of sense. It makes more sense than, well, like, trying to get this purgatory theory. There's no precedent for that, I don't think. Yeah, I suppose that's right. I don't know. I had... It just seems it's weird for me that people like Yeah. Like that's that's the preferred way of thinking about the show. Yeah, Not that, just that's a fun little cartoon. Dumb. Yeah. I mean I don't like watch the show edit and ooh, Lockthorn Float. He's a... Uh, I'll make a ooh. joke about that in just a sec. But you know, it's like when I watch a show, when I watch Ed and Eddie, I don't think, oh, these are all in purgatory and it's all symbolism. Like, no, it's these fucking kids trying to sell jo steal jawbreakers and whatnot, trying to make they a quarter. <laughs> yeah, they want to scam people out of quarters. That's the whole point of the show. <laughs> and it's a goddamn funny show. It's great, man. I love that show. Ah, oh, such a good show. Yeah, best episode, in my opinion, is the one where they go on, like, the weird metaphysical adventure. Oh Whether yeah, like breaking the fabric of reality. Yeah, that's, that's always a episode. fun one. Those are always fun episodes where you, when you can tell, like a yeah. motherfucking chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, shit, uh, blitz. Yeah, well, it's just like fun when you. When, ooh, tiger mask. I want. Oh, that's something for uh, Sabin, I think. Like, my favorite episodes of animated shows are always the did ones you where you try to suplex home. the bird? Yeah, I did. I was uh. going to suplex the, the Ralph, but then it didn't really work out. And Edgar got a level up. Alright, check out that tiger mask. Yeah. And that's in Quips. Uh, I suppose that goes oh, no, on that. No, no. Well, it's not for him, man. It's going to be for... Uh, Seven. Whoa! Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> Hell it's yeah! It's like a luchador mask. Hell yeah! Yeah. No, I don't want you to have the boomerang. I want you to have the thief knife. All right. Did yeah. you hit optimize and I went to the boomerang? Yeah. Yeah. Well, my favorite episodes of animated shows are always ones where, like, in the writers' okay. room, you can. Tell Miranda that. is the one where the the lover of the so, of the downed yeah. soldier is. Yeah. 
My favorite anime episodes of animated shows are always the ones where you can tell the writers were like having a lot of fun with just being stupid. You know? Oh, yeah. Like the SB129 episode of SpongeBob. Uh, that's is that the one where, where he goes, goes to the future and then the past and then he ends up just like somewhere. Right. Yeah. Miranda used to be this continent's most beautiful town. Look what the empire's done to it. Stupid freaking empire. I mean, it looks very similar to all the other towns. <laughs> yeah, really. All right. Well, what's the I don't notice show? any difference between the architecture. Ooh, mithril male. Mithril man. male. What about a you? Mithril got male. What about a mithril female. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, let's do this. My son's been forced to serve the empire's army. Ooh, there's a dog fight. Dog happening. fight! Stop. Stop this. <laughs> they make dog. Woof. woof. They make woofs. Scram! Alright, well, let's check out this house. Hmm. No, no. Oh, it's a girl. My lover come back? You can do the girl voice. My love hasn't sent me back any letters since he's been gone. I'm sick with worry. But we just sent one to her, like, last time we were in, uh... Did I not send it after I died? Oh no, you haven't. Damn it. Uh, you can go back and uh, I'll deal uh -oh. with this later. Say, you want to get hitched? <laughs> Aisha, Aisha, no. Aisha. <laughs> Aisha <laughs> now no. she's chasing after him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, well. All right, well, I think we're going to call this an episode here now that we've explored this new continent a little bit in the next episode. We're going to make our way into Vector, east. hopefully. Or we never did go east, so I guess but in the next that's episode. The that's just the Imperial camp, though. We'll come yeah. to that later. We'll go to east next episode. See you guys then.